Hey everyone, uh, welcome. And uh, today I'm gonna take you through my beauty routines. I'm Manuela Mercajani from Eisenberg Skin Care. I'm a cosmetic chemist, and I've been formulating skin care for over 30 years and working with you know skin care and self-help. So I'm gonna go through what um, my routine is. It's not my daily routine. It's when I actually have time to actually focus on myself. Um, I like to do it more often, um, like a couple times a week and really get into it. So first, let's start with uh, putting our hair back, right? So this is going to be a beauty routine that really covers um, the pillars for for my, what I like to consider the pillars for my skin, which is, you know, clean, feed, correct, protect, and also um, just really take care of yourself, right? So just time to reconnect. So I like to reconnect by, you know, taking a look, putting my hair back and taking a look at myself and seeing, you know, be in touch with myself. Say hi to myself again, because a lot of times we forget to high five ourselves, kiss ourselves, or really connect with ourselves. So usually with my routine, I always start with, I, I'm a really big fan of um, tepid water and my favorite washcloths. So I like to start with really just working on my skin, getting it wet and warm this way uh, before I go into the cleansing. And I just find this is uh, really calming and soothing. Putting the cloth on and just balancing my skin again. So I find that this actually helps me relax, just helps me reconnect uh, before I get into the routine. And when I was uh, you know, younger and studying skin and also when I've gone to different parts of the world or different schools where we're teaching about skin and just getting facials done, the old way was always using these cloths and I really am old school that way. Because you know, when we're at home, we wanna be able to take it and do it, like you can do it at home, when you're traveling, you can really take care of yourself this way. So after I've done that, I've got my skin taken care of, I go into the cleansing. So I like using, I love our daily exfoliating cleanser. So I use this one. The reason why I use this one and I tend to go a couple times a week really slowly, is it's got the microbeads, it has the acid, so you know, you're gonna get the cleansing and the polishing, but I go very, very gently on my skin. I don't scrub really hard. I go gently, but I allow the, the ingredients to work on my skin for a minute or two. And I find this really helps because it does the exfoliation, and it gets into those like little nooks and crannies. I go right up underneath my eye area. I go around and I do a bit of massage at the same time with the cleansing. Sometimes I even do the alphabet, believe it or not. I'm like A, B, C, D, and I go all the way through. When I finish the alphabet, I then go back to my cleanse. I just love, I just love using these. So I've got a nice, amount of water and then I just oh, it feels so good. I do this a couple of times. Now this is my rinsing so baby. My skin is really nice and clean now. It feels good. I use the cloths to get in to those any areas. I just find that it just makes this ritual more interesting for me and soothing. Oh, especially around the eyes. Oh, there's something about doing this ritual that feels really, really, really good. Okay, now, I don't dry my skin. I leave it like this. So this has really taken off a lot of the moisture. You kind of pat dry, you don't want to over dry your skin. So I go clean, feed, correct, protect. So now we're gonna go work on correcting and feeding the skin, right? So I go right away into, um, something that's gonna go and penetrate the skin, that cleanse the skin, now I wanna go in and I wanna start uh, working on the skin at a deeper level. For me, this is where I bring in my retinol. So I have my retiniacin. So this is a blend of retinol with niacinamide. This is really important. I like using them, well we've blended it always together. 
the niacinamide and the retinol. I put that on. This is like the workhorse. This I always lay down first on my skin. And because it is a routine, self-routine, I always do a little bit of the massage in between just to get things going. Notice you can do so much just with your hands. So the retinol. Then I'm going to go to my, depends on what I'm, what I'm working on, but I go on to my vitamin C. Um, the vitamin C with ferulic. And this one, again, I put it on all over. So I'm going to circle around my eyes a little bit. I work it around in my cheeks with my knuckles here and down my neck. I'm not using a lot of product, but there is a lot of manipulation because this is where you, you know, you're, you're breathing, you're massaging, you're really working on looking at yourself and trying to get everything balanced for yourself and for the day. This is how I do my beauty routine, my self-care routine. And I keep reminding myself, I'm taking care of myself, I'm nourishing myself, I'm protecting, and I'm getting myself ready. So I do my vitamins. Now, my eye serum is next. I love my last eye serum. Love it. So I do, um, when I'm doing the self-care routine, put my drops of eye serum on. I start underneath, okay? Then I close my eyes and I go all around. All the way up to the eyebrow now. That was just one drop, but you see the lubricity. You see that we don't. This is, doesn't have oils or anything, but it because of the molecules, it just slides so nicely. And I'm not using any pressure. That's really important. I don't use a lot of pressure, but I'm getting a lot of circulation working. I'm using a very light touch, but I'm going over it a few times to allow the penetration and allow a little bit of massage because it is all about self-care. I already feel like it, it feels like relaxed and invigorated at the same time. Now I'm going to do my eyelashes. So I take my eyelash protein and I love this formula because you don't have to be careful with it. I just close my eye, swipe on the bottom of the eyelashes, one, to, okay, so that's done. And then I just rub it in a little bit, just so that my eyelashes are coated. And see, it feels so good. So you've got the eyes done. So it's my cleaning, my feeding, my crank, just getting all of this stuff into the skin. Um, and then I'm gonna go for, um, what I like to do is a bit of a mask. I've put these nutrients on, they're working in my skin. Then I take my moisture mask. Now the moisture mask is my that gel. And what I like to do at this point is I put around the eyes, all over. I'm gonna put the moisture mask everywhere that needs extra moisture. So you got the lips, the eyes. I put a little bit on. I put a very thin layer. The moisture mask is that hyaluronate, but this is my mask phase. I put a little thicker on my lips and a little thicker around my eyes. And I'm just letting this soak in. And I'm not gonna take it off my skin at all. So this is a mask, brings in moisture, plump the skin, but now I wanna create this um, moisture sandwich with the moisture mask. This is how I find for my skin especially. I don't want to take this product on. I actually want to penetrate this even more into my skin, but certain areas like my neck or my mouth or my lip area, I put on a little bit more. And now this is where I now leave this moisture mask on. This is where I go into more of the lipid phase. This is where I put more of the creams on. So I'm gonna go with my neck. I'm a big believer <laughs> that your face or your, your is from here all the way down to your decollete. So the neck is super important. 
So this is a different formula that I use for my neck area. But I have my serums on underneath. When I do my neck, I also do the jawline. Make sure massage that in. I like this too, this routine, because it's the self-care, you know, I'm massaging everything. I'm taking time with every single step. And I think this is really important because of the circulation, the contact, the self-care, the forcing yourself to slow down or forcing myself to slow down and breathe. Like this is part of rebuilding yourself. Like this is how I think of it. I think of it as a time where I'm just thanking myself, reflecting. Okay, so when it's all absorbed in, I leave that alone. And my final step, I'm going to use my cream. And sometimes I mix them, um, especially now that it's you know, winter and the skin's a little drier. So I put my probiotics on and then I'm gonna put my um, antarcticine on because this is winter time. I want to really be able to seal in the moisture, but I don't wanna forget the probiotic for the microbiome. So I wanna make sure that the good and bad bacteria are in check and that I have that resistance against the cold and the dryness on my skin. So put this on and then I finish this off with a nice massage. And this one is those areas where you hold a lot of tension, you know? The forehead, between the eyes, puffiness around the eye area, the microcirculation. Don't drag or pull your skin. So do everything light I get underneath this muscle and then the jawline. Finish off with the neck. I make sure that there's enough product. And then I just kind of pull on my ears a little bit at the end. Because I always think, I don't know, I was taught that this is really important to do the ears. It kind of flushes out the system. I don't know if it's true or not, but I tell you, it feels really good. This is Oh, and then don't forget to kiss yourself because I think it's important to say thank you to yourself for doing, taking care of yourself and honoring yourself. So this is one of my self-care routines and um, truly it, it allows me to reflect, it allows me to be in contact with myself and at the same time I'm doing something really, really, really good for my skin. Clean, feed, correct, protect. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, my routine and I look forward to your comments and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you for being here.